the internet. My name is Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of a project. I had at one point put some cardboard down on my shelves. Editing Laura here. Actually, I lost some of the video that I had taped where I explained what I was doing. Basically, I had put some cardboard on the shelves to keep pots from falling over, like tipping on the slats, and the cardboard has gotten wet and started curling up and doesn't work anymore and so I have come up with a solution. So the next videos are going to explain that but just know that there was a little bit that you guys lost because I lost it. Okay so what I ended up doing is I got this it's basically plastic corrugated corrugated plastic so it's set up the same way um, cardboard is where it's like you know, a, a layer, and then it's got the up and down, whatever. But it's made out of plastic, so it's waterproof. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... These are actually the exact right length for those shelves over there. And if I cut it in half, it's only going to be about an inch too short, which is pretty decent considering, you know, it means that I can basically just use these as is with like one easy cut on it. Um, and so what I'm going to do is cut all these in half and then I'm going to clean up my shelves over there um, and organize those and put the new plastic bits over there. And hopefully it will look much nicer over there as a result. Obviously, I also have all of this other whatever. I'm not worrying about that right now. This is my project is getting this stuff set up. Okay, so I got it cut, put up here. And then I cut out the little corners for it to go around the poles. And it was all super easy to cut. I mean, like, it's no harder to cut than cardboard. I was even able to follow just one line straight down the middle and, and like, cut it all nice. It is a little bit bowed, <laughs> a little bit yet from where it was. But if I put a couple of heavy plants on it, it'll hold it down. And I think it'll, I think it'll flatten out just a little bit. So... I am going to finish removing everything from here. I actually spilled some dirt back there the other day. You can see like there's some dirt on my... So I'm actually probably just going to pull all this down, vacuum that all up, and then put this stuff on here and put that back on there and then do this one. So here we go. Um, got them down. Makes it look a lot prettier. And I'm hoping that, you know, as I put water on it and as dirt gets on it, I'll then be able to just pull them off and wipe them down. And then they'll be back to being white again, which will be kind of nice. Um, so I think that's going to be about it for this video. Um, I've been, like, I've done a, a, some repotting recently, like, I put this guy into a bigger pot, um, and things like that, just random things that needed to be done, I guess, um, which is always stuff that needs to be done. Oh, I did want to, I know, ignore the mess as we walk over here. I did want to show you guys my Alocasia Friday has been growing super awesome, um, that's the newest leaf right there, back there. Um, still pretty big. Looking really nice. And my Polly put out these new leaves recently. And there's a little puppy. <laughs> so I think that's actually really cool. Oh, and this is the newest leaf on this alocasia back here. So um, no new leaves on my little dwarf yet. But 
We're working on it. We're going, oh, this has gotten super long too. Come on, start putting out some leaves on here. That's what that's supposed to be for. Um, but anyway, so that is the bit for today. Um, so if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. And subscribe if you'd like to see more of what's going on. And thank you guys for spending some of your time with me today. I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.